Welcome back everyone. In this lecture, we're going to be looking at performing assignments with list. So again, this is section four, lecture five. So let's jump right into it. So list assignment. So again, you can assign values to multiple scalar variables at once. So the best thing about list assignment is that instead of creating multiple scalar variables and assigning values to them, we can do this just on one statement. So just one line of code. So for example, our first example is that as you can see on the left hand side, we're creating our list of scalar variables, which is just X, Y, and Z. And of course, on the right hand side, we're assigning multiple values to the, to the list of variables. So of course, X gets 10, the second one, which is Y, Y gets 20, and Z gets 30. So that's one way to assign multiple values to a list of scalar variables. Now our second example is that we can actually use our handy dandy quoted words operator. So again, we can create a list of scalar variable names with the array indices on them as well. So zero, one, and two, they'll be in order with the quoted words. So the first indice is Victor. The second one, of course, will be assigned Jadian. And the last one will be assigned Forte. So let's look at our third example. So our third example is we can actually reference the entire array. So of course, we begin our array with an at character followed by the name of the array, which I just called names, and I assign the quoted word operator with a list of names, which is Victor, Jadian, and Forte. So my array, which is called names, will have three elements with these values. So let's take a look at more examples and my live demonstrations. So the first thing I'll do is begin to set up my list. So our first one contained three scalar variables. So give me one second while I create my list. Let me just give them some spaces and I'll call this name one. Let me just copy and paste these. So. I'll take that, paste that there. Give me a second. And paste that there. And I'll just rename them. Okay, everything looks good. And of course, I'm going to assign them values. So I'll call it Victor. Jadian and Forte. Okay, that's one way we can assign a list of values to our list of variables. And the second way is to, of course, we can create an array. So let's just take these, for example. I'll just copy and paste those in here, but instead, we're going to use the braces to reference our array elements. So that's going to be zero. It's going to be indice one and indice two. And of course, let me go ahead and do this again. Or another way, let me use this for example our list of values. I'll just copy and paste those in. And do that. 
And what I'll do as well is reference our last one. I'll just call it names. And this time I'll use our quoted words operator. And then this time I'll use a pair of parentheses instead of our forward slashes just because I'm used to functions and methods with a pair of parentheses. But you can feel free to use the forward slashes, the two forward slashes on the operator QW or quoted words. But for right now, I'm going to use a pair of parentheses. And of course, I'll just give it the same values separated by spaces or one space. So it should look like this, Victor space Jadian space Forte. And let's just print out some of the list of values. So I'll take the first one. Of course, we put our pair of double quotation marks to include our escape characters. And this time, I'll go ahead and print the first one, second one, and the third one. Now I'll just rename them. Name 01, name 02, and of course name 01. And I'll just copy this line of code and just use them like this. So I'll reference these by my array and indices. Okay. And I'll take the last one and just reference the whole entire array. I want to print all the element values in that array. So let's see if this works. If not, Perl will give us some beautiful warnings and error messages that I can correct for you guys. So let's run it. Run script or F5. And congratulations, it worked just as expected. So again, these are just different ways to assign lists to a list of variables. So you can use multiple values and assign them to multiple variables on one line or a single line of code instead of using multiple lines to assign values to variables as well. So again, we printed out all of the values in our in our variables and pretty much that's in a nutshell how to assign list of values to a list of scalar variables as well so if you guys have any questions please feel free to let me know and I'll do my best to get them answered and I'll see you guys in our next lecture